So my name is Ivan Tashev and I'm principal architect in speech technology group in Microsoft Research. We're in a driving simulator lab and I'm going to demonstrate Commute UX. Commute UX is a next generation in-car dialogue system which allows you to say anything anytime. This is a dialogue system which employs natural language input and the system still will be able to understand you. Let's see how it works. At the beginning of our trip, let's start with listening to some music. Play track live for the party. So this was the classic way to listen to, to send a speech query, but we don't have to specify track or album or artist. Play Paul Simon. So as you can see, the system didn't need the clarification about the artist. Play the submarine by the Beatles. And it can even understand not correctly specified names. Let's make some phone calls. My Bluetooth telephone is paired with the system and the computer knows my address book, so I can ask directly by name. Call Jason Whitehorn. Calling Jason A. Whitehorn, say yes or no. Yes. Jason A. Whitehorn, do you want cell, work or home? Cell. Calling Jason A. Whitehorn at cell. So this was a classic and slightly painful way to interact with the Bluetooth phone, but our system can understand and doesn't need this ambiguation if the name is unique. For example, call Constantine at home. Calling Constantine Evangelos Lignos at home. But there is even more. Frequently the driver needs to respond to some urgent text messages and it's definitely not safe while you're driving. So we can use our speech input to do the same. Message from one, ETA, say reply, delete, call back, or skip. Reply, in 10 minutes. Am I right that you want in 10 minutes? Or a number from the list? Yes. Got it, message sent. Maybe you notice it, but there is some irregularity in movement of our car and I'm afraid that we have a flat tire and because this is a rented car I even don't know how to open the trunk. So now it's the time to open that thick car owner's manual and to try to figure this out but instead of this our computer already did this for us so we can just ask how to open the trunk and we see the proper page here. But then we need to replace the flat tire. How to replace a flat tire? And we go directly to the page of the owner's manual which describes how to replace the flat tire. Once we have our flat tire fixed, we can continue our trip. And listen to some music. Play Nora Jones.